Hey, welcome back, Travel Road. And it's been exciting. I know last episode was super long, and so I'm going to definitely try to keep this one under control. I do apologize. I, I, I just get wrapped up, and I want to get so much stuff done, and sometimes I just let myself run wild. So I am 100% like tracking the time on this one. So I do apologize. But if you guys like the long episodes, then I don't apologize, and I'm glad that you enjoy them. But I am definitely going to try to keep them more manageable, and we'll see how that goes. So. As you can see, my reactor is still here. I finally got a little thing set up for it. And I made a whole bunch of these vibrant capacitors and just got them stored up. So right now it holds 8 billion RF. So we'll be good on power for a while. That way I'm not wasting a whole bunch of eulorium until I need it. I just basically filled it up and turned it off. And now the capacitors are basically just doing their job. And as you can see, I'm really not on using too much RF uh, out of this right now. So that's where we are with that. Um, when we left off, I was kind of deciding if I wanted to finish a beta or not, and I was like, it was just already too long. So I kind of got working on that, and I want to finish that up with you guys right now. Um, as you can see, if I detect, it didn't detect them. Uh, maybe they have to be actually on me. I have gotten all of them done, except for the very last one, which I'm going to hold on to. I've got the 4, the 6, the 8, the 12, the 18, the 24. The only one left is, or sorry, the twenty. And the last one is the 24. And then the regular carrot is over there because we're getting ready to do it right now. So I need, let's see, I need this block of diamond right under this one. And let's put some crop ticks. I've got my diamondilia clippings here from my 10, 10, 10 source. There we go. And then this thing is supposed to grow on a diamond block. And let's start getting our diamondilia up. It shouldn't take too long. 28%, 42%, 70, or 57, then 72, and, or 71, and then 100. Oh, 85, then 100. I've watched this a couple times, and it goes up in the same percentages every time. So apparently I couldn't remember what they were, though. And this should be my very last one right here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Give it to me, 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 give it to me. What's taking so long? Why are you taking so long? Come on. After all this, come on. I've had just such a long day. This is so tedious because I've been having to go get all the different seeds that I needed to crossbreed with and go get the right block to put under. There they are. There's our 24 carrot seeds. And carrot quest is complete. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So now let us go make it official and loot chest claim. And now beta is complete. Let, what, what do we get from this? Let's let us see what we got here. We got thick eyebrows and cat ears. What a bust. Such a bust, but it's okay. Another chapter complete. And I am very, very happy about that. I've literally been, I've been doing some grinding in preparation for today's episode. I do want to show you, it's been about a day, not quite a day since I set up the Temperio setup and I'm already up to 544 Temperio Essence. So I think that's working well. It's, um, since I created the build, it's been probably about 15 hours. So you figure about, uh, a hundred every three hours give or take. So about 30 an hour. That's, that seems about right. About 30 an hour, something like that. I don't know, but I've got them. The temporary is going. So I think we'll be good on those for a while. Let us put all this junk away. I just kind of want to keep all the carrots together. I just want to kind of see them together. These are kind of cool. Removes potion effects. The two carrots, when it comes from the normal ones or whatever. Um, I think that's pretty cool. So there we go. There is our, a complete set of uh, carrots, carrot carrots, I guess they're called. So we'll grab all those and grab all this and just put all this away like so and get ready for the rest of today's episode. So we are getting so, so very close. Did I put the right thing away? I, there was something else here. What was, what was the other thing I clicked up? The watering can and, oh yeah, my pick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So we're getting so close to getting into Draconic Evolution, because if you remember correctly, 
one thing I've been looking at is this uh, Enchanted Charm of Dislocation. So that's something I've been looking at that I want to do. But that one uh, needs the Wyvern Core, which needs these Draconic Cores, which means I need these blue gems. These blue gems come from Neptune. Now, however, I haven't gotten to Neptune yet. But I did do a little bit in the off time. As you can see, I've got a whole nother rocket over there that I didn't have before and another one right here. I did create the rocket to get to Saturn, went to Saturn, got uh, magnesium, made my tier five rocket or whatever, or sorry, went to Saturn, got the magnesium, and now I've got my tier six rocket over here. So everything's up and ready to go. However, I finally, after I got done yesterday, I was talking about that piece that I wanted, and it was actually called a digital miner. I couldn't remember the name at the time, but I did find it. It's called the Digital Miner. Now, this thing is grindy as heck. Just starting with these atomic alloys, they need uh, some refined obsidian with this reinforced alloy in the metallurgy confuser. That needs compressed diamond with the enriched alloy. That needs redstone with a capacitor. So the capacitor goes all the way back to a tenant capacitor with compressed. Those are grindy just to make those. But it's not too bad because, you know, I made like a whole bunch at one time. This guy is not too bad at all. It's just some redstone with some osmium ingot, and that was quick, fast, and easy. These guys, on the other hand, I had to make a whole bunch of enderium and then make this elite controller, which is two more of those, and then two more of those with that basic circuit. So you can see it's a lot of little crafting. Now, this one was ender diamonds. I had to make up some glowstone ingots. I had to make this energized silicon and two more of those. It's grindy, 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 grindy right but oh and the robot don't even get me started on the robot batteries it's a basic energy cube which means two energy tablets per so that's four energy tablets which means i needed to make four of those which means me i need four of those which means i needed to make four of these and four of the, it took a while it took a while but 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 i've got these guys sitting right here to go make the last part for that and I will have my digital miner uh, bink and bink and make you no what am I making oh I'm making the frame that's that's what I'm making uh, I think that's a QED recipe if I remember correctly I need to make this guy right here uh, it's that four steel ingots and black plastic all right so let's get some steel real quick uh, one two three four and the black plastic is up by the pneumatic craft stuff where we're going and we will get this guy it's it has been a grindy day um i'm gonna do try to do a better job of kind of talking what's going on um having having fun with you know some of the stuff and then doing a little cutaway so i'm not doing as much grindy stuff i was as i was editing that last episode it it just took a really long time and i realized i didn't want it to be that long ever ever again so I'm going to concentrate on kind of breaking away when it comes to some of the grindy stuff or just getting a lot of it done off camera and then coming back and doing everything else with you guys. Okay, so apparently those don't shift click in. So logistical sorter. Okay, so let us. Oh, there it goes. It worked. Digital miner. Now this thing, I haven't even tested it out. I was just reading about it. Um like you know great for mining on this pack check whoa whoa that is a freaking big structure that's a three by three by two structure all right cool so idle not ready eject off pull off i see i'm not 100 percent sure how to use this thing but i know a lot of it is power dependent and i'm assuming that's the power source right there so what we're going to do is we're going to try this guy out here um we're going to call this one uh miner Okay, and add that. And then it's gonna receive power from the reactor. And so this should now be, yes it is, all right, cool. And then what this is gonna do with items is, where's the items at? Send and receive, items, here we go. It's gonna send home. So what this is gonna do is mine and just send everything we mine back into the system, okay? Now, under configure, I believe, yes, you can set the radius um like say if i want to go 100 blocks by 100 block no oh, i guess i can't go 100 blocks uh we'll say 90 blocks 90 blocks oh min 
is zero, max is 60. So let's keep those there. Let's set that radius at 90. Okay, 32, not too bad. I'm sure that there's probably some upgrades I can put on this. Um, and new filter, okay. And then basically we can do item stack or just material. I can put in the material that I want it to find. And then it says, I, I, I hope this thing works because we are getting ready to go to Neptune right now to get all the material that we need to then get to Uranus, or sorry, going to Uranus. So then we can get all the material that we need to get to Neptune. Um, oh, let me go get some portals and char or pestles and pedestals. Oh, I can never say that word. And charms. I'm gonna go ahead and get uh, set up and ready to get to Uranus, and I will see you when. Three, two, one, blast off! And here we go on our way to Uranus, one step closer to Neptune and getting those blue gems. And I, I just have this like feeling that the blue gems are kind of that, I want to say like the midway mark. Like we're kind of getting out of all the entry level stuff and all the early game stuff and really getting to that midway point. And the blue gems kind of see like where I can kind of start getting into uh, Draconic. And I know Draconic's totally end game. So I feel like starting it is kind of hitting that midway point. But we are going to Uranus. Let us launch. And here we go. Hopefully this digital miner works. I don't, I read a little bit about it, but I didn't get a really good understanding about it. And also I've noticed one thing. I stopped making, because uh, this was for Venus and Mercury. I don't take damage on any of these planets. So I don't know if maybe my armor is protecting me from the environment. This looks like an ice world. This looks really cool actually. I like it. Not huge, you know, gravity difference, but hey, Mr. Enderman, what are you doing? I wasn't bothering you. Back off. There you go. Let's go ahead and kill this while we're waiting for our, there it is. Okay. So let's get you, oh, I forgot my dev nulls. That's what I forgot. I'm going to have to go home and get those in just a minute. Let us knock our way in to this wall right here it looks like ice but it's not ice that's kind of cool hey get away from me oh man come on die all right cool so let's grab our portal here and this is our bound one right here cool oh might as well grab the unbound one too right while I'm at it and bind it to this location. So bind there, cool. Set you up and you're the one bound to the overworld, yes. There we go. Send us home, we can set up our pedestal there and oh, I'm so excited right now. Oh, you know, as a matter of fact, I think, did I forget? Um, no, I did put it on there, okay. When I went to Saturn, I remember punching out the hole for the pedestal and then I, uh, didn't remember if I actually placed the right stone under it. Um, there you go. Should have just, I just should have set this up before I even left. All right, cool. So you're on there like that. Let us pop you out real quick and put in one of these nice Uranus stones. So we know where that is. Cool. And let us get some dev nulls here. Got one. Let's make ourselves two more. One two it always seems to be like i need three that's kind of been the consistency for me is three of them and you and you i probably should, should have used one of the other ones uh anyways let's put you in there cool and put you in there like that and then we'll put those up there and then we'll get that other third stone when we get back so now we're going to go test out this digital miner so let us go back to Uranus. Oh, I'm so excited. Actually having some solid progress and I'm not being too crazy about it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to dig down to zero. I think that's probably the smartest place to go. Oh, you know what? I Every time I almost do it and I'm not doing that anymore. I forget to mark my portal and then I don't know where to get back to. Okay, cool. So we're going to go, we'll just go straight down from here. This shouldn't take too long at all. 
and hopefully there's no like lava lakes. I mean, it's it's a cold planet. I don't see a lot of lava. I I, don't, I wouldn't assume there'd be a lot of lava. On Saturn, there was a whole bunch of liquefied glowstone, so that was kind of cool. All right, we're down at Y5 here. Let's go ahead and clear out an area, like so. Okay, and that's the other material I got a dev null. Okay, so let's do that real quick. All right, put you in there. Cool. And let's just throw all you out. And now we're good to go. Okay. And crystal stone must be the one that we need. Safe assumption, right? Uh, where's my food at? Did I leave my food in here? There it is. I don't like taking damage. All right. So let's see if this bad boy works. So we're going to set this down. Hey, get back here. Like this, we'll just put him right here. Now, do I need two of these? Is this the port right here? Is that what that is? I don't know. But, oh, put you on there. Make sure you're still sending home, good. You've got power. So let's go ahead and config. Uh, radius 32, min 60, that's all good. Material is going to be this. Crystal stone. Good. Save. Good. Now go back and um, auto eject, auto pull, silk touch. Okay. Um, and let's start. That's your rain of stone. I don't want that. I don't want your rain of stone. Is there a way to make this fat? Oh, 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 there's like a speed up. Okay, hold on. Let's show, hello there. Well, hello there too. Um, let's see for speed upgrades for mechanism. Is there speed upgrades for mechanism? Magnetic craft, ender. I saw the little lightning bolt. So I'm thinking there might be speed upgrades for magnetic craft. I'm not 100% sure. I don't know why though it's collecting this let's stop this let's config this how do i how 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 do i reset this stop 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 start stop do i have to pick it back up and put it back down i don't know let's see is that still in the right spot yeah okay let's try this again so config uh, requires replace no. Um, okay, use a material of. No, that's the material. Oh, I see. It's using a pick. Oh, I need to go make like an unbreakable pick. Okay, so. Oh, maybe that won't work. This is the material I wanted to get. Require replace material? No. Save. Uh, I don't know what inverse mode's all about. I'm gonna learn this. Save, back. Silk is on. Okay, so, whoa. It's already out of energy. Are you not pumping energy into this thing? What are you doing over here? What are you doing? Receive, let's receive from all. I want my power coming from everywhere, wherever I have power. Well, the miners obviously not necessary, but. What is going on here? Upgrades. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. It's the same ones that we put in for um, the other ones. It's, where are they at? Uh, maybe they're just called upgrades. I remember these things. It was like these guys, yeah, these guys. Filter upgrade, muffling upgrade, there they are. Speed upgrade and energy. Increase energy efficiency and capacity. Okay, so we're gonna have to go make a couple of those for this thing and pump those guys in. 
because this doesn't seem to be getting a charge right now. Um, disable using 120,000 RF per tick needed 3.96 million RF until okay I'm gonna figure this thing out and then once I do we will be right back all right guys so I think I may have gotten it but I'm not 100% sure I just added 11 uh, sorry uh, 8 efficiency upgrades and now I'm adding speed upgrades but that one's red I don't know if that's a bad thing speed upgrade amount 4 of 8 okay so efficiency 8 of 8 times 10 efficiency speed upgrades are now 8 of 8 times 10 speed efficiency but it's still doing the wrong stone and this I can't figure out um, auto eject auto pull see reset oh reset is the way to do it okay it says all is well I don't get like it should that's the that's the material I want delete okay so we'll do a new filter. Uh, maybe this inverse thing is part of it. Inverse on. Item material. Oh, you know what? Let's do or dictionary. Um, you. No. Item stack. Crystal stone. Fuzzy mode. No. Save. Let's try that. Save. Okay and let's take all these out and start it's not doing the right ones what is going on here this is going to be a little bit disturbing i i thought it would just take just the ones i wanted maybe it's mining the whole area i don't know It's right now it's just doing the stone. Silk touch, no. Auto pull, no. Reset, auto eject. Hold on. We we're gonna get this figured out because I I read. Um fuzzy mode, yes. I don't know. I don't want to I'm not trying to replace with anything right now. So that should let's try with fuzzy mode on and inverse off. I don't know. At this point, I'm just totally like, if I put you there, no, why aren't you doing, why aren't you doing the right one? All right, travelers, we're back and I think I've got this thing figured out now. So what I did, I made a couple little changes. Um, it didn't seem like this was working to be attached directly to it. So I just got a power port. And then I just realized I put this on, on the wrong one. This is input, not export. Um, I basically just to kind of pull the items out and send them straight home. This is the one I wanted to connect it to. So basically, here's what we're going to do. All right. Oh, get out of the way, bedrock. What we're going to do is connect this bad boy up like a so. Oh, height. There we go. You're going to be on insert. You're going to be on extract going. Okay. And what I have found is crystal stone and Uranus white gem. Okay. So I was using the wrong filters and that was the problem. I was using uh, the material filter and that's not what I wanted to do. I was playing around with it on uh, survival mode, or not survival mode, in creative mode. The filter I want to use is item stack. So I'm going to item stack this crystal stone here and save. And then I'm going to add one more filter for this Uranus white gem and save. And now I guess it gives a priority. I'm not 100% sure about the, how that works. But I am going to set this up to 255 so I can get the entire mountain. And now when I start this thing up, it should only grab those and then pull out directly into the system. As you can see, there's 650 some odd blocks. Not going to take too long. Now, I did go into the upgrades and I added in sp uh, eight speed increases, which gives me a 10 times efficiency and eight energy efficiency or upgrades for 10 times the efficiency. So it's actually, I mean, relatively quick. Hey, how did you just like spawn next to me? 
So I think it'll be relatively quick. Um, I mean, it's saving me a lot of time because I'm not having to go, you know, through everything. And it said it's getting me. Ah, there they both are. So that's it. So there's the white gem and there's the crystal. Um, the crystal. So I'm just going to wait for this thing to finish up now. It's got, what, 550 left. So it shouldn't take too long. I would figure it's not going to be too bad. I do. Uh, this thing is, I'm really digging on this because I started kind of reading a little bit more about it. You can auto pull. Um, stuff in here like if you want to replace the blocks and not just leave like a big empty space like the ender quarry fills with dirt you can do that with this one and then you can also do auto ejector which just kind of shoots out the back and uh resets obvious and then silk touch silk touch would be nice if you're looking for emerald ore or uh you're looking for you know redstone or uh anything like that where you don't want to break the ore and you actually want to get them back so Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and wait for this thing to finish its uh, next 450 blocks. 100 didn't take too long at all. You know, let's throw these in there so they go back into my system for me. And yeah, so we're going to wait for this thing to finish up. And as soon as it's done, we're going to head back and... Oh, oh, look at that. It's breaking the ones right here. That was kind of cool. So yeah, so it's obviously getting about halfway through, I'm assuming. Um, so yeah, we'll wait for this to finish up. Then we'll head back and get ready to go to Neptune. I think Neptune's like we're on Uranus, right? Yeah, next to Neptune, and we'll be able to get some blue gems and really get going on that draconic evolution. So we will be right back. All right, so this is the moment of truth. I just warped back in from Uranus, and let us see if we have we have our Uranus white gem. We've got a hundred and three of them, and then. There's the crystal right there, 575 of the crystal stone. So we've got them. It's working quite nicely. Let us go see what we need for our tier seven. Um, not tier eight, tier, good grief. Tier seven, to get to this level, we need the crystal. Cool, and then we've got the heavy duty plates. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all that stuff going together. As a matter of fact, I need to go smelt all this down. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on that. And then once I get that done and the next rocket is ready to go, we will be ready to, to take flight. So we will be back in just a little bit. All right, travelers, so we should be just about ready. Uh, looks like... We've got most of it, it looks like. We've got 38. That should be enough, I think. I think that's enough you need. Um, so in the meantime, I did head back to uh, Uranus because I had to go get the uh, schematic, which I'd totally forgotten to get the first time. And let's go ahead and get all this stuff ready. There's you. Didn't I just... Oh, they're all up there. I was like, didn't I just have 38 of these? Um, what? Uh, it's always the oxygen thing. I always forget to make the oxygen fan. Uh, oxygen fan. There we go. Should be able to make these. One, two, three. There we go. Uh, apparently, I made four. Didn't realize I did that, but okay. Um, back to tier seven. There we go. So you, I know I've got the other two because I made a whole bunch last time. There we go. Um, I need to make four of you. One, two, three, four. And I need two of you, which means I need to make magenta wool because I have not made that for sure. There we go. So two of you. As the wool goes in, everything should be ready. There we go. One, two. Perfect. And then now I just need my heavy plates. Like so. There's 10. That's all I need. Perfect. I don't need you anymore. <clears throat> now, if you guys ever happen to see a cow randomly walking around here, let me know. Because I only had two liquid oxygen cows. I put one out. Just, just left him sitting right here. Right here. And because uh, I needed to refill my liquid oxygen so, or my oxygen, and he was gone. I can't find him anywhere. The way this is built, I don't see any place. Well, that the cow could really get out. I don't know. 
I thought maybe like he accidentally warped through the portal. So I came here looking for him, but he wasn't there. I have no idea where in the world this cow went. He's just gone. But it's okay. Um, oh, I need to take my things off. Oh, wow. I'm like low on oxygen. Okay. So let's go ahead and get some O2 from you. Thank you. Can I? No, nope, it's resetting. All right. Uh, but I can do this. Okay. You and you. Oh. I'm holding shift. I don't mean to hold shift. There we go. There we go. Fill that guy up. And that one nice and full there. And there we go. So all my oxygens are full. And I still have a little bit left. But I should not need more than uh, four of these. So, uh, where, whoa, whoa, whoa. there we go. And then you two get back in here with the oxygen. Let us go make our new spacey ship. Let's knock this guy down. Boop. And put you in there. And how did I get an achievement for that? I built that thing a while ago. There we go. Let's see how cool this one looks. Oh, that thing looks so cool. I I remember when I thought this was cool. The very first time I ever played Galacticraft, I was like, oh, how cool little rocket. And then this guy was like, oh, it's got cool little boosters. And then we turned into this. And that just got awesome. And then that, and then that. And then look at this guy. This guy's a monster. I put the other one in here, right? Yeah, okay. I think we are ready. Oh, you know what? Pedestals and... Did I put them in here yet? I meant to make them. Nope. Pedestals and charms. All right. So I know I have two there already. And let's get ourselves our charm. Like so. One, two. All right, and let's set our location to right there. Cool. And you know what? Let's go ahead and put the other pedestal up already. I always forget to do this. I don't need to take it with me to do this, so. All right, um, you go there. We'll just pop you out real quick. So when we get our new stone, we can put it in there. And I think we're ready. I think we are ready. Got my charm. Um, got my new one. I have my digital miner packed away. We've got oxygen. I think we are ready to go. Ready to go. All right, cool. Here we go. I always do that with that in my hand. All right, cool. I will see you guys as we are entering the atmosphere of Neptune. To Neptune and beyond. Okay, guys, so I was just entering the atmosphere, and as you can see, I still have my parachute on, because I was looking, and my chest just disappeared right there, and I'm realizing this is liquid. This seems to be all liquid, which now makes me wonder, do I have any, like, building blocks on me? I, I I guess I can use item conduit as a building block. I don't know how, how far this stuff goes. I don't know what's going on here. Um, liquid nitrogen. Okay, not touching that. Liquid nitrogen tends to be cold. How in the world can I mine? I don't want to touch it. I don't want to touch it. Um, is this going to kill me? It looks like I'm in it. It's not killing me. It's just not breathable. Okay. Where's my chest? That's the most important thing. There it is. Okay. Most important part. Let me get my ship back. Cool. Now, let's get underwater here. Or I guess underwater. Oh, this is crazy. And 
Let's get... Come on, down, 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 down. Am I... Okay, I'm breathing. Okay, cool. Wow, this planet's kind of cool. Although, uh, it's a little bit different. All right, cool. So there's that, and where's my unbound? There's my bound one. Okay, cool. Put you on there and bind you to here. Perfect. Let us go back and put our uh, up on display here. And oh, you know what? I forgot to grab some dev nulls, didn't I? Did I forget? Yeah, I forgot my dev nulls. Let's make up some dev nulls real quick. Because every time that's the way we do it. Oh, son of a gun. Okay. So <clears throat> I have to I, I call myself out on this. I had to put myself in cheat mode uh, because for whatever reason, HQM had reset and had me to three lives. And so, as you see, I gave myself the other uh, eight hearts that I needed. So, just in case you guys think I was cheating. Wasn't cheating, just resetting because for whatever reason, HQM reset and had me down to three lives. I wish I could scroll back, but... Oh. Yeah. See, I was trying. I was like, why are my lives jacked up? It says you currently have three. So, then, basically, I was... Yeah. So, let me get myself out of that really quick. Uh, back into recipe mode. There we go. All right. So... Let's throw that away. I'm not claiming it. Even though they're so cheap to make, I feel like it, that would be cheatsy doodle even to, you know, take that. So there's those. I always got four. I never know. I usually only use three, but figure why not have, make sure you have enough, right? All right, cool. So there's those. Put you up there. All right, cool. And back to Neptune. Oh, I am so pumped up about this. So, let's see. All right, and straight down to yield bottom. I'm already at 30. Okay, so it's going to take me a minute to get down there. We're going to set up our vein miner, or not vein miner, our digital miner, and get some of those blue gems we're going to get back, and we are going to create our very first... I don't know. Um, our very first draconic evolution thing. I guess that's kind of what I was going for. Um, I was like, why am I taking damage? I'm hungry. Okay. The blue is so cool. Zinc, Neptune iron. I don't know what the, the one is here. I'm guessing these ones over here. Yes, blue gem ore. There we go. And is there anything else really useful? Zinc ore? Zinc. Neptune tin. More blue gem. Blue gem. I don't know if there's anything else useful. I think we're just going to do the blue gems just for right now. Just because I know... Oh, hey. Where did you come from? You guys are so fast. You can sneak up on a brother like no other. All right, here we go. So let us get out our, our rig and I oh know I want to keep you right there. All right. So you and you, I can move you and you real quick, you and you, there we go. All right, cool. So you go right there. Yes. We're going to go ahead and connect you like that. There we go. And now you should have. Oh, you're already powered up anyways. Now you have power. And then just get you connected over here. You're going to be on extract. You're going to be on insert. There we go. And this should be good to go. So let's get this item filter set up. Config. Uh, new filter. Item stack. Neptune blue gem or and start nothing in mind what hold on reset config oh I, I didn't save the filter darn it <laughs> I'm so excited I forgot to save it there we go so you, let's move you up there uh, 32, 32, 32 item off new filter good and start 
175 of them. Okay, so that's going to get going. And then we are going to... You know what? I sh Oh, no, I, I don't have a chunk loader, so... I was like, I would just leave this here. I'm going to go ahead and let this finish get to 150. We're going to get back, get our blue gems, and make our first Draconic and start heading in that awesome Draconic Pass. So we will be right back. All right, Traveler. So we are back in the overworld. Let me just get some of this stuff organized real quick. Dev Null's back. You in there. Oh, you know, I forgot to pick up my cow. I forgot to pick up my cow. Where are you? You're over there. Okay. <clears throat> Your tick should be over with, right? Yeah. Let's do this real quick because I knew I was draining some oxygen. Um, did I put the oxygen? Yeah, the oxygen tank back in here. I'm trying to use up the rest of this tank so I can. Oh, there's still too much. It's like a hundred per, and I don't think I think this thing has to be empty. Yeah, yeah I I wasted the ticks, but it didn't fill. All right. Well, next time, bud. Next time. Let's go ahead and put you back in the cabinet and then need to remember to enclose you guys <laughs> Whenever I let you out if you guys notice the cow and I don't Please say something in the comments because I spent some time looking like I said I went all the way back over to where my Batania battle area was uh, Thinking he might have gone through that random part. I have not seen him. I he had to jump to his death That's the only thing I can think of because he is gone but now, now is the time to get some freaking awesomeness done. If I can do it right. Okay. Um, so the biggest one I really want really fast, just because it's going to start us on the right direction, is the charm of dislocation. Or the uh, enchanted charm, enhanced charm of dislocation. This is all easy, except for the wyvern core. The wyvern core takes one nether star and then the blue gem... With the mangaloid. Now, I made up some mangaloid in preparation for this a while back. I think I told you guys. About, oh, I made up enough, too. Um, hold on. Is that the same stuff? No, this is it. Glowing mangaloid. How do I make glowing mangaloid? Fluent transposer with... I've got a cow with that. I've got a cow with that. Um... Z. Energized glowstone. Blazing pyrothium. Destabilized redstone. It's around here. So, ah, that must be it right there. Molten zinc. Here it is. Cool. I knew I had one. Um, I had a whole bunch. All right, cool. So I just like undid my cow area. Um, I need to put these guys out to... Uh, D, uh, like to cool down. So, darn it. I'm going to put these guys back out and I want to do this all kind of with you guys. So what I'm going to do is, um, let these guys hit their cool down and then hook up the salute transfer. I think there's water in it right now. Yeah, there is. Um, I don't want water in here. Uh, configure sides. Nothing. There we go. I don't believe these retain their inventory. Let's see. They don't. Good, 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 good. Yeah, so then I can put some buckets of this stuff in and then put the mangaloy over here and good things should happen. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah, so I'm going to wait for these guys to cool down. Uh, I'll probably grab the others too, just in case it takes a lot. Cause I didn't look, let's let, let us look at that real quick while I'm here. Uh, what was it called? Mangaloy? Mangaloy. There we go. Um, how much does it take? 5,000 millibuckets for one ingot. Oh, okay. I'm going to have to milk the heck out of these guys. So, yeah. So, I'm going to grab the rest of them out of here. And um, I'll get those up and running. And then we will be right back. So, I just got my last bucket put in. And, oh, my gosh. We'll just say I, it, it took a while, to say the least. I'm going to have to definitely set up a rancher for these guys. 
so they can uh, constantly be uh, milked and then maybe I can make like a uh, um, what do you call these the the bed rocking drums because I was looking at like how much they hold this one holds 256 buckets which is good because I need five times um, 16 like well I, I need five buckets per right now I need 16 but five buckets per is a lot <clears throat> to make this glowing mangaloy so I'm thinking the best bet is to basically set up a rancher make myself a bed rockium drum and yeah because that that just that that <laughs> that took a long time all right but there is 80,000 in here which is kind of perfect it's like it's designed for it so we put that bad boy in there we switch it and now there we go 5,000 time perfect for 16 we are gonna get our charm of dislocation this is awesome oh I'm so excited so so very excited and I gotta go put my other two rockets on display because as you can see I well you guys know I didn't put the other one up because I put it in the chest so it's just they're just it's getting longer and longer and it's actually really simple to build this thing out because all just a little more cobblestone but ah oh, gosh I am so excited right now I, it, I <clears throat> if you guys can understand what it's like to record when I'm ready to go and I'm you know wanting to do something there's times where I'm waiting for hours for certain things to happen like this this literally just took about well it was over an hour and a half for me uh real time but I was checking back as often as possible or not as often as possible, but whenever I remember to check basically. And, uh, yeah. Wow. It just, just crazy. But anyways, the charm, our charm of dislocation. Okay, cool. So we need to make these guys. Now I need the blue gems, which I think I do. I just get them from smelting. Yes. Just smelting them. Is there a way to get bonus ones? I can crush them and get two. Can I put them in the pulverizer? Nope. Okay. So let's get our blue gems. I didn't even check to see if they're here. Yeah, there they are right there. And let's go smelt those bad boys up real quick. I could have just put them in the other freaking thing. But yeah, there's nothing faster than the resident uh, redstone furnace. I like the little ultimate guy. I... I, I I'm thinking I'll still do something with them because I can keep placing them around the little ultimate flower, the Batania one over here. Uh, or not Batania, but what is it? Uh, Magical Crops one. I, I like this guy. I do. But it's just not nearly as fast as running over to my redstone furnace. No, it it doesn't even touch it. So, why Vern Core? I need you guys. Um, do I have... I don't have any in there. That's interesting. Oh, because it's all over here. I'm like, wait a minute. I know I smelted some of this stuff up. Do these break down? They do. Okay, cool. There we go. Now I don't have to make those. Awesome. Oh, ha. I never actually pulled one of those out of there, apparently. Uh, the Wyvern Core right there. You... Now the core, got it. Now the charm, I don't got it. Oh, I gotta make one of these. Now the charm. What? Tell me I don't have ender pearls. You tell me, what in the world? Okay, you go there. One, two, three, four. Ender pearls. One, two, three. Oh, maybe this one just doesn't go in. Ha! <gasps> We've got the bad boy. We've got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Okay. So let me. I don't know how many ender pearls this thing takes, but uh, add fuel. Oh, I gotta keep clicking. There we go. And just put in a stack at a time. And I believe one ender pearl is one teleport. I believe that's how I, it's been a while since I've used this, but oh my gosh, we are into the draconic evolution and I am so happy. Okay. I'll finish filling that thing later. So anyway, so what we're going to do is this is, um, add new. 
we'll call it home and set here commit and now this is home okay now we will go to our farm and i'm going to set it like somewhere in the middle because i'm always running back and forth so uh we'll put it right around here just to do this okay so shift right click set here Oh, add new. There we go. And this is uh, last millennium. There we go. I don't know if I have to lock them or not, but now if I do this. Um, oh, see, I didn't lock it. And so it said it. Darn it. That was the mistake I made. It's okay. Not a big deal. I can fix that really, really quick. I come home. There we go. Right back here. And shift right click. Unlock. Set here. Lock. And now... Last Millennium. Oh, it shows it there. That's cool. So Last Millennium, go. Awesome. I am so... Oh, we are so going to be getting our nether stars planted... Uh, our nether seeds planted because now we've got the um, the ability to make the wyvern cores which are super simple because we've got tons of materials for it oh my gosh this is like I don't want to say this is game changer or anything but we're into draconic evolution which means I'm going to be able to do a lot more and I think next episode we're going to dip a little bit into that but I want to get into applied energistics I've been looking and looking and looking and it just seems like it's about time because I pretty much have everything we need. I've got the mercury, which was like kind of the last step. The glass cable we can get from making these guys and these guys. Oh, and there is essence. There is essence. I just need to get a whole bunch of those. Oh, this is going to be beautiful. So very beautiful. Now, how do I get these originally? Oh, yeah. One charged certus quartz one nether quartz and a piece of redstone in a puddle um and then i don't think i can make this guy yet because i think that's what you need yeah but it's okay we can get started on that i'm gonna go create a puddle that i believe is what we're gonna do um next episode is start getting applied energistics in tune so i can start auto crafting because that's the biggest thing the store i like these storage drawers these storage drawers are actually really cool i never used them before and I'm really, really digging on them. Wow, I'm up to 592. I never really, you know, used them before and stuff like that. Oh, that's where that extra umber came from. I knocked out the back piece. All right. Um, so, yeah, I think Applied Energy is going to be coming up next. Because, as one of you guys said in one of the comments um, about the um, Project E stuff, I've been, I trust me, I look at it like every day when I'm just kind of uh, sitting around and stuff like that. I was looking at the chests, uh, the condenser. The energy condenser right and right so i know my goal is to get these as fast as possible but obviously that's 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 just not going to happen <laughs> not anytime soon at least uh, that's a whole bunch of circuitry and stuff through mine factory reloaded uh the alchemical chests aren't nearly as bad uh just the spirit binder which we've made magnesium which we have obsidian chest um but that's when to get these we need the philosopher's stone which goes back to that so we need to get into the dire uh, crafting table pretty soon and now that we can do the wyvern cores we can do this because the crystal matrix is easy the me controller is not bad once we get all that stuff going and uh the double compressed crafting is easy and then these are just wyvern cores with awakened draconium and we can get those so that's where we're at we're ready to get the dire crafting going this is exciting but more exciting is the fact that we, oh, we have Draconic Evolution stuff now. I am so excited. Oh, you have no idea what's about to happen. As soon as I log off of here, I am going to be playing around so much trying to figure out what we need to get ready for next episode. So, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I tried to keep it under half an hour, but I know I just went a little bit over right now. So, it happens. But until next time, guys, if you guys enjoyed today's episode and you want to see more like it, please 
hit that thumbs up. And this goes to absolutely anybody watching. Please, it helps me out dramatically because if I get thumbs up, more people might see the channel. And then there's more of an audience and more of you guys to interact with. So it only takes you a second to hit that little thumbs up. And if you're brand new to the channel and want to see more like this, just hit the subscribe button. So until next time, travelers, y'all know the deal. I am Slider Havoc, and I'm out of here. Peace.